so we are still looking at the paired passages. Um, these are the questions that are actually over both passages, um, helping others to see and a ball to roll around. So you, you read both stories together and then it asks you questions just about helping others to see and then it asks you questions just about a ball to roll around. This is this segment, it's asking you about both. These are questions numbers, uh, question number 35 through 38. <clears throat> So let's start with number 35. Read these quotations. And the question is, which of the statements best expresses the difference in tone between the quotations? All right, the answer on these <clears throat> um, is C. Um, and here's what I did to figure this out. If you had a little bit of trouble, but we all did well on this, it was 96% correct. So um, these last tones were a lot easier for me to distinguish than the first one. So um, helping others to see, he is also keeping an eye on the staff, insisting on their impeccability and service, guiding his superbly honed institution of compassion with a glance, a word, a silent presence, a smile. Uh, so is that sincere, grave, observational, or playful? Well, if you had trouble with that, the other one seemed to be a little easier. I find it easier to live with myself if I try to be honest. Well, is it arrogant? No. Is it passionate? No, not really. Is it introspective? Sure. Is it mocking? No. Um, so for any of these to be right, both words have to fit. So in this case, the first one was observational, just kind of explaining what is seen. And then the second one was introspective. He's thinking about himself um, and uh, kind of reflecting on that. So C is the right answer there. Number 36, what can the reader conclude from the last paragraph of each selection? Um, the answer here is J, both authors have had meaningful experiences. And if we need proof of that, then let's go back. Um, let's see if my highlighter function will work. Um, so our last paragraph, perhaps a man without sight is blinded less by the importance of material than things than other men's are, men are. All I know, yeah, see it's not gonna work. My highlighter thing's goofy. All I know is a belief in a higher existence of nobil nobility for men to strive for has been an inspiration that has helped me more than anything. Okay, so that indicates he's he's been inspired. That belief gives him um, a meaningful experience. And then um, paragraph nine here. Um, I've deepened my understanding um, of the basic tenet of the SEVA Foundation. Um, you not need not forgo doing for being or being for doing. Um, and then let's see, actions involving the best skills and technology, balance with um, caring hearts rooted in a sweet spiritual presence um, that is embracing of all souls. That is a great teaching. So something that the author has left with. A meaningful experience. Okay, um, number 37 then. What is one difference between the author's treatment of their subjects? The correct answer here is A. While the author of Helping Others to See focuses on Dr. V's interest in serving others, the author of A Ball to Roll Around focuses on his personal growth. Um, in B, C, and D, the answers that they offer are incorrect. Um, so helping others to see suggests Dr. V thinks blindness is instructive. That's never stated. Um, a ball to roll around suggests blindness has limited his, his options. It's all about how he has not let it limit his options. Um, C, Dr. V was trained to do his work. It details the way he was trained. We never hear about his training. Um, and a ball to roll around, it suggests his path in life was fairly random. Again, it doesn't address that at all. Um, and then D um, provides details about the people who inspired Dr. V. We don't hear about that. And um, it indicates in a ball to roll around that he hasn't been inspired by anyone. Now, it doesn't tell us he was inspired by anyone in particular, but it also doesn't tell us that he wasn't. Um, it just doesn't talk about it. So B, C, and D both are actually just incorrect. There's, they're making assertions that are not supported. So A is the only one that's plausible there. Um, number 38, <clears throat> read these quotations. Um, after the presentation, all three generations hang out together and discuss the way they can put into practice the values brought forth in the presentation. And then at Philadelphia's Overbrook School for the Blind, I invented a successful variation of baseball. We called it ground ball. The correct answer here is they both talk about activities that depend on group participation. 
Um, so the three generations and a team sport called ground ball, um, which is the connection there. All right, so that ends our paired passages. If you need to make up questions from that, then on our makeup slide, you'll want to see the practice paired questions highlighted there. And then don't forget to send me with that your code, your answers and your code from this um, recording so I know that you watched it. Thanks, guys.